Hello, this is me, Josh Hunter, and I'm uh, on the planet Earth, and uh, I've got a jutsu for you. Uh, this jutsu is called Happier Day No Jutsu, and it's based upon the... Uh, Alright, well, I used to be in musical theater, okay, and so this... Uh, uh, every summer, um, not every summer, but for four summers, <clears throat> I, was, I was in musical theater, and so... Um, what we would do is we'd put on, they'd have a combination of musicals all together. And this was in Pasadena. And so my first role was as the uh, prince, as the uh, son of the King of Siam and the King and I. And so they put all... Maybe I should have kept that. I'm sure it'll all work out. Fuck. Uh, damn it. Alright, sorry, I'm having a trouble... Like I said, normally I just record this once, and like that's it. Like this is so. This is my second time trying this. So let's see if this if this works. Okay. So uh, I uh, the, the musical theater. You'd have to the okay. Sorry. See, why am I so fucking nervous? <laughs> You know something that's also been happening, which is kind of unusual? Uh, these sparrows, they normally don't, like, come around here. Because I'm here, like, like every day. Like, but they, I mean, they don't, they don't, like, hang out. But they, they're, they're coming around here, like, every day. And I don't know what they're eating. Like, but they're, I think they're pretending. Like, they're, there's, there's, there's no, like, little crumbs of food around them. They're, like, they're, they're picking up, but they look at me. Like, they come and they're just, like, I know birds look at everybody, but I mean, it, all right, anyway. So, musical theater. <sighs> okay. Fuck. All right. All right, it's only time. We'd have to... Alright, so they would combine all of these musicals together. And it was like a musical mashup. And so it was like Carousel, Oklahoma, uh, The King and I, uh, South Pacific. And what they would do is they'd have... They'd put on like a show as if all these characters were meeting each other. So you'd have the characters from Carousel meet the characters from also Oklahoma and, and all that. So... <clears throat> Uh, my first role was as the prince uh, from The King and I. But I didn't, uh, it wasn't like a singing role. It's just people would come and they like bow down to me and whatever. And, um, I was supposed to, like previous to that year, I was supposed to play the uh, a character. Uh, no, this wasn't musical theater. This was for the uh, elementary, I mean for my school. I was supposed to play the, a character called a super turkey, which is a crime fighting turkey. But I wasn't able to, uh, to do that. So then the next year, or at least the next summer, um, Sorry, I mean, I'm not so... Oh, a bit of something. And the light became night before his eyes, and his life became but a light matter to him. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, so, uh, I was in... Uh... <laughs> okay, so anyway... A lot of these songs in these musicals, like, they had to rewrite it because we were kids. We can't, like, be singing, like, a lot of things that they say. So, for example, like, when we when we did Grease, when Grease was included in our musical mashup, you know, there's a song, in the, you know, Go Grease Lightning. Like, you know, it ain't, you, you know that ain't no shit. I'll be getting lots of, you know, or whatever. And so, like, you can't, like, they had to edit it. So we couldn't, like, say what the, the original song. So, um, there's this song from the musical uh, Into the Woods, which we also did, called No More Questions. And it's about the, uh, the character, the baker, and his wife. They're trying to have a child, but they, you know, they, they can't because the uh, witch put a curse on them, so they couldn't have a kid. So, in order to lift the curse, they had to do all this stuff. Anyway, it's very like stressful at one point, so he's like singing this song. He's like, okay, no more questions, please. All right? And so, one line of the song is like, can't we just pursue uh, our lives, wait, can we, wait, can't we just pursue our lives with our children and our wives till that happy day arrives? How do you ignore? And so I remember specifically this line, like, they had us, like, you know, the, um, I hope, I hope it's okay. For, nah, I probably shouldn't. Yeah, well, all right, sorry. It's like, oh yeah, anything. Fuck. I didn't even know. All right, all right. 
Um, okay, all right. Uh, 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 all right, anyway, I remember when they were, uh, I remember uh, this line, and they were editing the line. I can't hit my... <clears throat> If this, like, if I'm, if it turns out that I'm being, like, impolite, I will definitely delete this, like, this entire video. I just got this. Anyway. So, um, the, uh, they, they, they had to rewrite the line. And so instead of saying, until that happy day arrives, we had to say, until that happier day arrives. Instead of saying, like, so instead of just, like, waiting for a happy day, you were just supposed to already assume that you were already happy. And so the line was, oh, okay. So instead of saying, oh, until that happy day arrives, it was until that happy your day arrives. And so this jutsu uh, is called happier day no jutsu. And so this is when you need to remember something uh, very important, but that is very difficult to remember. Um just to assist you in that. Like, if you perhaps get the sense that you need to remember something important, but something that's difficult to remember, um, you would you would say, happier day no jutsu. Okay. Yeah. So, um, now I will... Uh, okay. So, I will now, uh, just to... Uh, I don't know. I was trying to integrate, I was trying to, <clears throat> I was trying to, alright, so anyway, now I will talk about uh, all of the times that I have been a part of the uh, uh, show business. Uh, I was, uh, or my acting roles, I guess, um, this isn't, I just have to have this on record, just, it's not, I'm not, because I used to want to be like a writer uh, and a director for like film and television, I mean for um, you know movies and stuff, because I figured, well, I'm telling jokes all the time. I'm watching TV. I kind of like writing, so I figure I might as well. Um, but uh, you know, I couldn't. I don't know. I don't like. I like writing, but I don't like. I mean, I like just like the notes. I like the process of like being like in the writing. I, I've never been. I mean, like. I've never been in a writing room, but I just like the process. I don't like the, the finished product. Like, I don't... Like, the idea of, like, having written something and then, like, seeing it, like, on a screen, like, it's, like, it's not the same. Like, it's not, like... You know, it's, like... I don't know. It's... I guess it's kind of, like, um, Like, edging. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's... It's like, you know, I just don't, I don't, I don't want to get, like, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't, I don't want to go. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, uh, my first role, like I said, was as the prince from The King and I. Um, my second role, actually, I was almost going to be the first African-American Santa Claus at my middle school uh, in, s in eighth grade. But I had to um, change schools. I didn't have to, but I wasn't. I wasn't thinking at the time, and so, uh, uh um, I gotta stop doing that. Why am I doing that? Oh, oh. The, uh, the second, uh, okay, and the first time I was on TV, and I, I think I mentioned this in a, in a previous video, um, Saturday Night Nickelodeon has a house in uh, the Hollywood Hills called the Snick House. Or I don't know if they still have Saturday Night Nickelodeon, but it used to be called Snick. And so they have a house in the Hollywood Hills, so they took all us up there. And anyway, they have this video. They had us pretend to be waiting in line for cotton candy. And then Nick Cannon was uh, supposed to come and like, oh. So anyway, in this like skit or whatever, um, Nick Cannon is like, supposed to cut in line. He's, tr he's trying to cut in line to get this cotton candy. And so they have him talk to me. 
And he comes up to me and he's all like, hey man, I like your afro, where'd you get it, 1970? So, ha, ha, ha. He's like, all right, let me cut in line. And I'm like, no, no, you can't cut in line. I mean, I don't say that. I just, I just shake my head no. And he's like, he says, like, forget, forget you then. That's why your afro is uneven. And then, you know, and that's it. And so they played this, uh, this segment or whatever at the end of um, the uh, Amanda show. Uh, there used to be a show called the Amanda Show with Amanda Bynes. And um, so they play this bit at the end. Um, and when it was on TV, I recorded it, and I, <laughs> I kept I kept it for a while. Um, but I don't know, I, I guess only Nickelodeon would have the copy of that now. Uh, okay, I, um... Oh, I was also, I, <laughs> I signed up to be in a movie, uh, there was this website called beinamovie.com. <laughs> um... And so it's it's like if you like want to be an extra, but you don't get paid. Like it's just it's like a tourist type thing. Anyway, so I was in this movie, a Spring Breakdown. Um, my uh, me and my pal, we uh, we signed up, and uh, we were on some. There's some scene where they're all on the beach or something, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I. Um, like, as we were going there, like, they had, like, a lot of the guys, like, take off their shirts, but when they got to me, they're like, ah, no, 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 you keep your shirt on. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Now, I mean, I just, I just feel, I just like, I want this to be, like, a part of, you know, I am not trying to, like, like I said, like, right now I only have, like, or anyway, uh, I'm not, like, Obviously, this isn't impressive to anyone. <laughs> I know it's like, oh, dude, you were in the movie.com? <laughs> okay. Uh, I just I just needed it to be written uh, so that I wouldn't... I don't know. I, just, I don't... Like, I don't want to have to store this, like, memory. Like, I just want to, like, if I, if I need to remember this, I want to be able to just, like have it come up as is needed or whatever. Dude, this has been one of the most difficult videos I've ever had to make. Like, it is... I don't know. I... I, I Alright. So... Okay. Some... <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody's pretty angry right now. I don't know if it's me. Uh, I don't know... I think somebody, like, I just got this, I get the sense, like, because sometimes you can be so angry, like, you don't even, like, I, I, like, you get a sense of a thing before you get the sense of it, and, like, right now, something's telling me that either I'm really angry, and I don't know that I'm angry, or somebody is really angry right now, um, anyway, Okay, uh, so I was, uh, so yeah, I mean, that's all my writing credits, or, I mean, I all, oh yeah, well, no, I already, yeah. oh, I guess, I guess, no, 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 all right. Rained all night, lots of rain. <laughs> but it was getting better because like like when it used to rain like I was I wouldn't like it would like hurt like it would literally like I would every time it like, I don't like the sound of rain hitting the ground like it just like it was painful but like now like when I hear it it's it's not so bad I've got some uh, you know some slight uh, this is a wacky fucking video dude I'm <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, somebody's definitely pissed off. <laughs> like I can feel it. Like, and that's the thing. Sometimes I can't tell the difference. Like sometimes, like I, <clears throat> I can be like a sensitive person. I mean, I'm not like. I mean, because I'm always like I, I don't want to be too positive because then like I won't. You know, in order to be safe, you have to you know uh, be in harmony with the environment. Like people are too positive. Like that's like, that's how you. Uh, <laughs> Alright, fuck. Alright. Alright, this is... Fuck. 
I look forward to what this all actually means.